my mom already raised me to be independent, right? She always said, Christina, you will not be dependent of a man. And this, I think, stuck with me so much, right? It influenced me throughout my like teenager time, childhood. Now I have like really this strive in me to empower women that they can really live an independent life and get out of situations they don't want to be in and decide themselves how they want to live, where they want to live, where they want to work. So my mom was really a big influence for me. I have this anecdote also of my dad. So he set up a trading portfolio for my brothers, put 5,000 US dollar into it when they were teenagers so they could start trading. He was convinced he did that for me too. But years later, I asked him about it and he's like, yeah, yeah, but I did that for you too. I'm like, no, you didn't. So that just shows how deeply ingrained the bias is also. There are studies also that show that we treat already kids differently in the pocket money based on their gender. So girls tend to receive less pocket money versus boys. They actually, you know, receive gifts that are more expensive or money values that are more expensive. They are encouraged to be active and like make money out of it versus we talk to little girls that they should save instead of invest. And yeah, this all led to, to me really having this deep urge to empower women. <laughs>